the way it work is like with all my investment portfolios i invest when i see returns i'll take my what my original investment is and then i go into ridiculous risking behavior everyone got million ideas ideas and advices yeah. are free and it's worth nothing only yeah. thing that is worth is you pursuing the idea and making it proving that it is a working model. hello guys welcome back to code santa this video is going to be something different because today we have Raghulan Gautaman with us. He is an entrepreneur, developer and YouTuber and have created multiple ventures. Today he is going to join us and share his inspiring journey of becoming an entrepreneur. I believe that it will be more useful to you. So watch this video till the end. Also make sure to like this video and subscribe to Code Santa now. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, uh, thank you so much for joining us in this session, bro. Uh, to start with, uh, when was the first time you thought of becoming an entrepreneur? Or what made you so ambitious? Or what was the turning point like? Okay. There is no turning point and all. I think always I'm on this direction. So there is like um, no turning point and all. I think from my early ages, like around when I was like in school days, um, my first step was like, I made a couple of kites and then I was trying to fly it in a ground with a lot of kids around and a couple of kids came back to me and said like um, okay can I get the kite from you I said like okay I bought it for I think 3 rupees or something I sold it for 5 rupees uh -huh. and uh, I went and bought 4 kites back and then yeah. came back and sold another 2 of them and then gave this to my brothers and then I thought like why should I buy it in first place why can't I make it then I went to this was happening in Lalguri then I went to this place is like there is a bazaar in uh, Lalguri where they actually make these Jaipur kites with uh, all uh, bamboo sticks and all that. I asked them like can I get the extra bamboos and all I bought some bamboos and then I got the color paper and there is something called kung that we do it for the kites to make sure that the paper doesn't break when it actually fills down and fall down and all. And uh, so I was watching all that and sitting there and watching for a few hours. I was like very lame here and then came back home with all these raw materials I got. <laughs> And there was my aunt who actually, um, she funded this project. So I went and made uh, like around 20 kites and um, my house became the kite selling house of that area. That's okay. my first step in entrepreneurship. Yeah, that's a really inspiring book. Okay, so tell us something about your startups, like what are all the services you offer? Um, my main company is Virtual Technologies. So that's where we deliver uh, most of our tech related stuff. Uh, we deliver apps, ga games, we do it right now, we're doing it in a separate studio, but the work is still done under virtual technologies. And um, the other stuff that we do is we do some IoT site consulting and majority of the business is app. Uh, we build a lot of apps for startups and then uh, enterprise applications for engineering companies and mining companies. We build um, apps basically and uh, desktop applications to manage their stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's okay. pretty much our offering. And with the other yeah. startups, uh, I have an imports business where we import uh, premium kids' furnitures and um, sits under Hari Guru. We have an e-commerce site as well. And that's one thing yeah. we do. And then uh, Virtual Hub is like a co-working space that we have in Chennai. It's in a premium segment that we offer co-working spaces because right now with COVID, a lot of companies have vacated their office. So if they want to have some office in back when they come back again, uh, they will not be able to find offices because everything will be taken or it will be expensive or whatnot. So the co-working space might be a good right, better idea. So we started it. So yeah, so that's another thing that we do. And apart from that, uh, we have a media company and uh, yeah, a few other little ventures. Oh, that was really great. Oh yeah, present what all are your income sources bro, and how long did it took for you to build them? Um, you know, being an entrepreneur, being a CEO, so it's like uh, we don't count on incomes. Um, all we need is basically uh, the expenses to be taken care of. So that's how we think and uh, we don't really pile cash. So because we take a lot of risk and uh, cash is one of the tools that we use to take risk. So we cannot have a lot of cash. And if you see like most of our bank accounts looks very pathetic and um, it's scarily pathetic. And um, yeah, so income sources is like uh, all my companies are profitable except the Virtua Hub companies. The rest of all the companies are profitable. 
so mm -hmm. uh, yeah and then um, i have few other passive income sources as well so built around 300 games so that is generating oh, some income that's really and, great um, and then of course the youtube channel started making some um yeah. it's not much but it's actually still it's money is money so there is no money that we don't like so either being it small or big so so that's another one and uh, yeah there is quite a few other i invest quite a lot in cryptos as well there is a mining rig which is running on and uh, so make some money out of it and then staking and uh, a lot of other investment portfolios as well yeah yeah okay bro bro some people say that uh, we can earn a lot via mobile apps or games how much is it to um making money in apps i've already mentioned in a video so it's not like uh, one standard figure that we can give that app will make because it depends on the scope of works and who, who we are targeting and what is the market demand and how much competition we have yeah. and what is our revenue model within the app as well so sometimes if you focus on ads then it's purely going to be ads so in that case you know we have to Uh, make sure people click on ads people watch our ads that's how we make revenue and that's like we have to have a lot of people on there and there are some apps like we may not need a lot of people but it will cater for some niche segment like for engineering or or uh, astrophysics or something very specific to particular set of people but there is no one is offering that app so you can charge the customer $100 per download so now you can easily make what the other app is making with ads like like quite easy but you know you need to find that niche segment so there is no fixed figure but most cases the way it works is you spend some money to build something and then you need to promote it and uh, once you promote it once you get some users you need to listen to them and you need to fix bugs and keep it alive so yeah it's a great deal of work to make it profitable uh, but it's a product so you need to spend some quality amount of time to make it work you said that uh, you are investing in crypto like that is it okay to invest in crypto currencies or crypto mining will it be profitable um profitable depends on um how lucky and how smart you are so that's the two factors and because it's not about um, because it's just money you're going to put it in and you it's going to do some work and you're going to get some returns back so um it do, if you ask me if i should do it generally i will do it because if i see anything i want to see what it is and i'm like a curious cat you know curiosity kills a cat so that is how i am so anything that if i don't know i i don't just go and read it i'll go and try it so that is how i do it so mining i have done it several years before i've been in touch i was doing a lot of little things around it so i know what is in there so it's much easier for me to get in there so mining to me is like a profitable as of now whereas um, other cryptos you know like there is no profit without losses and crypto is completely decentralized so you're not going to actually um go and ask like a bank or anything like that where is my money so if the money is gone it's gone so yeah. the way it work is like with all my investment portfolios i invest when i see returns i'll take my what my original investment is and then i go into ridiculous risking behavior yes. so that means i just because i know that you know if you're going to be very um conservative you're not going to make too much profit but at the same time if you're going to be very risky you may lose everything but if you already taken the money that you have invested out then even if it is gone then it's it's okay because you already got the money that you got and you made little profit and rest of it i just go full on so that means like i take the highest risk that i can take in the in the entire portfolio and then yeah so even if i 10 of that loses in one wins that's greater than what 10 could make yeah that's uh, so true and uh, what are the most valuable skills to learn in this decade like what are the prospering uh, technologies right now uh there is plenty um i think iot will be one really good space and it's because the entry point is too small that not a lot of people can get in uh because people need to understand electronics on top of it they need to understand basic how positive negative works and a lot of basic things that they need to understand which most people don't know um so i think uh, iot has got a very good scope and it's a really big industry multi billion dollar industry and crypto blockchain could be next thing because again that is also another space where people don't understand so any space that it is growing and people don't understand it's hard for people to grasp the idea then it is something which is like it's going to be pretty good and apart from that uh, we got uh, rpa remote uh, uh, that is um, robotic process automation ai deep learning machine learning uh, all the other buzzwords can also make something but i believe that uh, ai blockchain crypto and uh, iot some of these spaces going to be pretty huge yeah bro that's uh, definitely true okay what is something you learned as an entrepreneur 
what were the hurdles you have overcome to be in in this place um i think um uh, hurdles are like you know we face hurdles every day so yeah. uh, we lose projects and then we have to go on hunt for a new and the client's not happy they're not going to pay the bills and we need to pay the salaries and said so, like we face a lot of hurdles every day um but what we learn is like um i don't know like um we just learn every day something new and uh, most cases just the management skills and how we handle people and how to pacify them and um uh, how to make them join us in the vision so that is one one thing that we if you learn it quicker then it's a lot easier because you don't have to convince everyone every day because you have a huge team and like say around 40 people to keep people like each one is like unique personality and uh, you have to talk to them in their own language and it is not to be possible you know since i have to do a lot of work but as long as you inspire people rather than you try to impress them which i have said in a video that's what i do with my staff as well because i don't try to impress them or i don't say them i do that this and stuff like that i tell them that guys you know i'm in a mission to go grow big that is what i'm going to do stick with me and you will get the benefits and uh, you know me that i always share whenever there is a loot or we always share with it so yeah yeah i agree bro okay what is something you would like to share with the people who are aspiring to become entrepreneurs or to achieve something big like uh, there is this thing going on like everyone is coming up with ideas like i am going to be an entrepreneur like that what do you think about that and what are some advices you would like to give them see ideas are cheap so that means like a, a, you know if you if you go to go to your road and if you stop some guy doesn't matter how the guy looks if you stop him and ask him about any topic uh give me an idea about agriculture give me an idea about how to change the political system everyone got million ideas ideas and advices yeah. are free and it's worth nothing only yeah. thing that is worth is you pursuing the idea and making it proving that it is a working model so that is when it actually makes some value for that you need to put an effort towards that idea you need to think and dream about it you should lose your sleep with that dream because you know your your dream wakes you up so that's sort of an idea where you become you constantly believe that it will work and at one point you bite the bullet that is when you actually put in you know you risk more than what you have that means you know either is no plan b your only plan is your plan a so and then you go and get that and uh, yeah so that's like uh, that's when people your investors or anyone can believe it because the idea is right now is working and is operational and is making a dollar a day now if i put in money in it it's going to work so that is where an idea turns into your entrepreneur journey until then it is just a fluke and people don't believe you and people think you are a failure but now for an advice for anyone to get in there um you need to have experience because if you're going to start a restaurant if you don't know how to cook trust me you will lose it because one day or another day a chef is going to walk away and you're going to be stuck with doing that so you know i when i worked in a restaurant i went and did every job in it from sweeping to cleaning to plate washing and uh, dough making so i pretty much made every job i did every job from whole storage to everything i did because i, I know that one point i will start a restaurant that's one of the things i wanted to work so i want to have an experience so yeah. minimum 4 to 5 years experience save some money so that you know no one is disturbing you or you are not actually distracted to to go and pay your bills or anything like that and then have some money to invest on your venture so yeah that's really inspiring bro thank you bro thank you